Today I'm going to show you a new feature of QImage One, which lets you export a high resolution print job. There are a number of reasons you may want to do this, but the most common would be to send the job away to be printed by a third party, such as a print shop or a lab. Here's how to get started with saving your print job to a file. On the print settings tab, on the print dropdown is a new option called print to file. Let's select that. Notice that no media types are available because this doesn't apply when we are printing to a file. Similarly, in terms of media size, the media size is whatever you define it to be, so it is always set to custom. You can change the size using the custom width and height values and clicking on the checkbox. And notice that on the live view, the page size is displayed at the top and we have no margins. Page orientation can be portrait or landscape, just as with using other print drives in QImage One. The paper source again has no available options because it isn't applicable when we are printing to a file. And notice that the print resolution has been replaced with a box where we can freely type in a resolution as opposed to a drop down based on what is best for the printer. The ICC color profiles, the sharpening and the cut marks remain the same as they do with other print drivers and we can also print information to each print. So let's add some prints to the live view that we want to save to a file. I'm going to select this image here and add it as a 4x6 and I'm going to rotate this image and I'm going to give it a border and I'm going to select a color here that matches some of the content of the image. I'm going to do this just to show you that all this information will also be saved to the file. I'm going to select another image also add it at the same size. This one I'm going to pick a different color border. Now usually at this stage if we were ready to print to a local print we would hit the print button, finalize information like number of copies and then actually produce a local hard copy. Well in this case when we click print we're presented with this new dialog that reflects the fact that we're saving the data to a file. You can see that the page size has been calculated in pixels based on the print resolution we defined and the size of the paper. We can choose to print all of the job or certain pages. We can select where the output folder will be. Now you can choose this yourself. For instance, I could decide to save to my desktop. Or I can click on the default button which arranges images in folders named by date in the documents folder. I can also select the output format and for JPEG I can select the quality. In this case I'm going to print to a TIFF file and the estimated file size is 59 megabytes. So now I just click save and I wait for QImage 1 to generate the output. So the default location that QImage 1 will save print to file jobs is in the documents folder it generates a folder called QImage 1 file output and then for each day there is a new folder. So if we go into today's folder June 10th 2020 we will see the output that was just written. Let's open it up in preview and see what it looks like. So you see that we have our two images. We also have the print info at the bottom. And if we zoom in, you can see that this is indeed a high resolution output. You can see all the data that QImage One has interpolated. Now for the final part of this video, I just want to demonstrate how QImage One outputs multiple pages. If I want to add this print as well at a higher size, and again I'll go ahead and I'll pick the border for this print. Then because I have two pages in the job, when I go to print, I'm presented with two pages here, one and two. And this time I'm going to print to JPEG. I'm going to say save. So here's our output folder again, and you can see that we have two JPEG files, uh, same job number except one is dash one and one is dash two. If I open these, you can see what they have the two pages of the print job that we have defined in QImage One. So that wraps up the features of the new print to file option. Uh, a lot of our customers have been asking for this option, which is why we've added it, and we hope that you find it useful and that it helps you on your printing journey. Thanks for watching.